Medical assistants and phlebotomists are required to draw and collect blood samples. This procedure is referred to as venipuncture or phlebotomy. In this video, I will walk you through some important steps and considerations for this procedure. I will show you how to perform a venipuncture procedure using a multi-sample needle with an evacuated tube system. This demonstration will demonstrate how we perform venipuncture at Brantford Institute. However, you will eventually work in a healthcare setting where the details of this process may vary. The overall procedure will not be consistent from place to place. During the procedure, have some very important highlights to pay close attention to. Make your patients as comfortable as possible. Handle samples appropriately to ensure accuracy of test results. Ensure the safety of everyone involved. Now let's start the procedure. Once you have the doctor's order for lab work, create a lab order, look up the processing information in the lab test directory. Now gather the necessary supplies for venipuncture procedure. Here are the list of supplies. Tourniquet, cotton or gauze tape, 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes, a vacutainer on tubes for testing, multi-sample straight needles, usually 21, 22, or 23 gauge, tube holders or adapters with safety guard, needles with safety guard, biohazard sharps container, your lab order, specimen transport bag, hand sanitizer disinfected wipes, personal protective equipment, including well-fitted, non-sterile, non-latex gloves, face mask, face shield, gown with full length sleeves, fully buttoned. Hello, my name is Omar, I'm from the lab. I'm here to draw your blood. Can you please tell me your name and date of birth, please? Isabel Hernandez, July 28, 1986. Great, so Isabella, what we're gonna do is check your arm. Uh, do you have an arm preference where you usually get your blood drawn? Uh, this one. This one, okay. So we're gonna check your veins to see which one is the best one, okay? Uh, it's usually three to four fingers above the crux of the elbow, so right there. So what I'm gonna do is grab our tourniquet. I'm going to do this. We always put it dog ears, never frog legs going up. So that way when we have to release, it will be one swift motion, okay? Next, I'm, I will tell her to make a fist and this will make the veins pop out more. As you can see, this is the, called the antecubital space right here. We have three main veins that we could choose from. We have the outermost, which is the cephalic. We have the middle and is the preferred choice of vein. It's called the medial cubital. And now we have the innermost, which is the basilic vein. I will palpate with my two fingers to feel for the vein. I am measuring the depth, the width, and the direction in which the vein is. Is this okay, this one? Yeah. Okay, I have the patient's consent and I am ready to proceed with preparing the, for the phlebotomy. With one swift motion, I will remove the tourniquet off. I will put on my gloves. I will get my alcohol pad, which is 70% isopropyl. Okay, we will disinfect the area. I will use a outward spiral motion starting from where I will puncture, going around out of the area. This is what we call concentric circles. Once it's clean, we let it air dry. We don't fan it nor blow on it. I will prepare my needle while it's drying. Here we have a tube holder and we have our multi-draw needle. I will remove the cap. Here we have the sheath, which will go inside the tube holder. And here we have, we will take this part out, which will reveal the needle. Make sure that the bevel is up. So I'm gonna put the tourniquet on on the patient. Again, three to four. Right 
Remember, dog ears never, never frog legs, where it doesn't interrupt the area. We will proceed with the phlebotomy. I will release it. I will use my dominant hand. I will anchor the vein, and I will proceed for a venipuncture. Make sure bevel is up. I will grab, and I will push. When we are done with the multi-draw, first release the tourniquet, remove the tube, invert two times, put it down, grab your gauze, fold once, fold twice, take out the needle, and you ask the patient to hold pressure. Can you please hold the, the gauze? Sure. Put pressure on it. Never recap. Always throw your needle directly to the sharps container. Like that. I will grab the specimen tube and invert eight to ten times as required for this type of tube. And this is where I will put the patient's name, date of birth, phlebotomist credentials, okay, and the time or other information about this test. And I will place this in the specimen transport bag and close to be sent off to the lab. Next, I will check for hemostasis to see if the bleeding has stopped, and it has. So we will proceed on putting tape over it. Thank you, and we will call you as soon as we have the results ready for you. Okay, thank All right? you. Thank you. That's it, and thanks for joining me and Brantford Institute.